Hello everyone, my name is Walter Rowe. Today I want to talk about moving images from a, a catalog to a session. A question was posed recently on one of the Facebook groups where someone had accidentally tethered into a catalog where the images were stored inside the catalog. And they were not sure how to then move them back to a session because they prefer to use a session-based workflow. I have experimented and come up with a method that works, and I want to demonstrate that for you here today. So here I have a catalog, and you can see in this catalog I've selected all images, and there's a total of eight images, including some clone variants of some of the images. Uh, you can see that they are stored in the catalog. I'm in the library tool tab, in the folder section, there are no disk folders. All of the images say they're stored in the catalog. Uh, so, they all have adjustments. You can see if you go to one of the adjustment tabs, I have a sky layer here. Uh, they have some ratings. There is metadata here. There's keywords. Um, there's some metadata in the metadata fields. So all of this information I want to demonstrate will be preserved in moving this from this catalog into a session. The way you're going to move this is you're actually going to select them all and you're going to use export originals. And when you export originals, you're going to look for the options where it says pack as EIP. This is a, is a extended image package. This is a capture one unique file format, which is effectively a zip file. Um, but what it does is it encapsulates not just the raw file, but also all of the adjustments, as well as all of the metadata, the ratings, the labels, the keywords, and everything that you, the annotations, everything you have associated with, the, with these images. So it's going to export rather than NEF files, which mine are, or CR2, or whatever your raw file extension is, the files it exports that it creates will be called EIP. So the first thing I want to do is I want to create a session that will be the destination for my um, exported images, the session that I want to uh, move them to. So here I've created a folder called Catalogs to Sessions on my desktop. And I'm going to create a new session called My Session. I'm going to open in a new window. Here you can see the session, it's empty, capture, selects, output, trash, it's all totally empty. So I'm going to go back to my catalog and I'm going to select all of the variants that are in the catalog. I'm going to choose export originals, not variants, export originals. I'm going to choose desktop. I'm going to go into the session folder that I just created and I'm going to choose the capture folder within that session folder. I'm going to set as the export folder. So you see it says destination is capture and it's in the session that I created called my session under the folder called capture. That's the capture folder for that session. I'm making sure that pack as EIP is checked. I'm going to say include adjustments. I'm not going to change the, the, the name of the image, but it will get a new uh, uh, suffix. So I happen to be four originals, but all of the variants will go with it. So I'm going to say export originals. Okay, that's completed. Now I'm going to go under the window and go over to my session. And here you'll see in the session, in the capture folder, notice it's called my session.co session DB. Here I have those exact same images, but it's called EIP instead of NEF. Okay, now you're probably asking yourself, okay, well that's fine. How do I get back to my original NEF files? So inside the session, I'm going to select all of the variants. I'm going to go under the image menu, and I'm going to select unpack EIP.
So you'll see that all of these images have now been unpacked. Now they're back to the original NEF suffix. If I go into the folder where the files are stored on disk, show in Finder, or show in Explorer on, on a Windows system, note that the path to this folder is desktop, catalogs to sessions, the name of my session, and the capture folder. And inside there, I have the original raw files, and I have the capture uh, subfolder, which has the settings, it has all of the proxies and the thumbnails, just as though you had imported them into the session to begin with. Now that I've created that session and I've verified that I have all of my data there, you can see that the keywords are there. You can see that the metadata is there. You can see that the adjustments are there. The layers, everything is there, all of my clone variants. No, no data is missing. No files are missing. All the files are there. So now that I've validated that my session is complete, I can go back to my catalog. I can close the catalog. I no longer need it. Don't need it and back it up. I can go to Finder, go into my desktop, into the folder where this is stored, and I can actually delete this catalog because I no longer need it. Everything I need is now within the session, which is this session right here. So that's just a quick illustration of how you can move images from a catalog back to a session. Um, it will require duplicating the files because you are exporting the originals, so you're creating new copies of them on disk. So you'll have to have enough space to sp store two copies of all your files that you're exporting. But it can be done. Uh, for those who um, doubted whether you could move catalog um, images back to a session, you can. Um, and this is how you can do it. Hope this has been helpful for you. Uh, please use the links in my uh, YouTube uh, description. When you make your purchases, I do get a small referral fee. I'm not an employee of Capture One, but I do get a small referral fee when you use my links to make your purchases. Hope you have a great day.